What's good, YouTube? It is Digital Hustler back with another video, y'all. And look, recording from the celly. You know what I'm saying? Just got out of my orthodontist appointment, y'all. And pretty much today is kind of like a mix in, or like a day in the life. And also, right now, I'm going to make a video for y'all, right? So, what you're watching right now, as you've seen by the title, why I started my clothing brand at 19 years old, y'all. So, look, it's a little story behind it. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, if you don't know who I am, I am a young entrepreneur that basically just recorded a journey. You know what I'm saying? Like anything that I do, if it, if I find it significant enough to record and pull out the camera, I'm going to show y'all. You know, I'm just showing my journey. Like whatever happens, I'm going to let y'all know the, the ups and downs. So with that being said, right, I started my clothing brand last year, July. If I'm not mistaken, right, because I do get a lot of these dates mixed up started my clothing around july and i've been doing it ever since you know um it's been you know ups and downs times where i kind of got confused or kind of got lost didn't know what to do didn't feel like doing it got discouraged you know but at the end of the day y'all i has been to a point where i am around i'll say like yeah close close to the five figure mark right close to the five minute figure mark And it's like I said, it's been an ups and downs. Like it's been a great experience, to be honest. And you know, me being younger, you know what I'm saying? Like some people have their different perspective and different perceptions of this. Some people may be like, oh, you're young. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. I wasn't thinking about this when you were 19. And some people may be like, that's just normal nowadays. You know what I'm saying? So it's really just all about how you think about it. Because there's a lot of people out, hey, hey this is a young, people's world bro i don't want to say the word you know what i'm saying but yeah there's a lot of young people that definitely get into a bag nowadays but like i was saying man i had to put some chapstick on my lips but like i was saying there's a lot of young people out here getting to it at a very young age like and it's and i bro i love to see it bro i love to see it like anytime that i see somebody doing something where people hit me up you know viewers and everything like that Y'all hit me up, y'all ask me questions, I help y'all out the best way I possibly can. Even if I don't know about it, either I give you a different route, you know what I'm saying, or some, some something, you feel me? Like, I always like helping people, and I always been like that, you feel me? So when it's like, I see a lot of these young people get into it, it's a lot of perspectives that people may have. So, with that being said, let me take y'all way back, man. Take y'all back a little bit. So, um, growing up, you know what I'm saying, like, I always, I was always like, wanting to make money like when i was 17 i believe and what was it i had got something was it my permit it was something that i had got and i was able to work yo i don't feel like <laughs> but yeah i was able to work right so i just started working ever since and i don't really like asking my parents for money like this whole journey of me being an entrepreneur and me doing my own thing like I, like yes they had provide me the household they provide the bills and everything like that but other than that i don't ask them for any money everything that i do comes out of my pocket and what i do for myself and i work you know what i'm saying i work at amazon and stuff like that and i was working at whataburger before that and even when i wasn't working i was making money you know what i'm saying digitally you feel me i was making money in the business that i was you know trading and i'm saying so it's like i never really liked depending on my parents for money so you know growing up and then just thinking about how the world you know what the world is and everything like that and seeing that selling something was a good avenue to to, to take right e-commerce so mind you i was 17 at the time so i was like i was just thinking about it and i was like bro everybody need clothes like fam like people people probably have more than 50 brands in their closet like 50 plus and it's all different brands so it's like if you can get a small portion of that and it's crazy because it's how i think about trading right if you can get a small portion of everybody that's buying clothes you can make some type of living for yourself which is especially if you have good prices right imagine somebody like for a whole let's say this hypothetically speaking right let's say one person has at least five of your pieces and you sell each of those pieces for $50. That's $250 that you just made from one person, right? And that one person can be a family member, a friend, somebody you work with, you know, people are, are really gonna support you for, you know what I'm saying? Having something for yourself, especially like, a, you know what I'm saying? Like something that looks good. If I could show y'all the back, I would, but it's like, fam, 
me thinking about it when I was younger, I was like, bro, like everybody need clothes. So if you can like, if you just make something and it looks good, like, but my whole thing was not even really a clothing brand. I'm gonna be honest. It was really just a hoodie business. Like I love wearing hoodies. Like I wear hoodies to sleep. Like I always got a hoodie on, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, like when it was one time that I was washing, I was washing the dishes, right? And this is like, it's like a memory that I always have. And it's like crazy to me because I spoke it into existence in a sense. But basically one day I was washing the dishes, as I said, right? And my dad had came up to me. He was basically just, you know, checking up on me, asking me like, what did I want to do in life? Um, you know, about college and stuff like that. And just asking me, you know what I'm saying? Like asking questions that your parents would ask. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so I basically told him like, yeah, um, I want to do YouTube, I don't want to get it mixed up. I don't want to just say anything, but it was YouTube. It was selling shoes, reselling shoes, a clothing brand. And I feel like there was one more. I think it was trading, but I wasn't really deep into trading like that. I don't think I, yeah, no, nah, it wasn't trading. But yeah, it was YouTube, my clothing brand and reselling shoes, right? Reselling shoes, I don't do it as much no more just because the access to it is not really something that is stable enough for me to put my intention to. So I don't even, but clothing brand and youtube are two things that i'm doing now you know what i'm saying so youtube i believe i told him about gaming i'm not sure but i don't even know if i specified what i wanted to do but i did tell him youtube and my clothing brand but the clothing brand was more so the hoodie business like you know with that being said like it's just crazy to me like <clears throat> that you know over the years like the clothing brand was there but it wasn't really putting in i wasn't putting anything into action you know what I'm saying? Like, I always wanted to do a clothing brand growing up, but it was like me just doing stuff, you know, with, with trading and, you know, school and stuff like that. I didn't really put too much energy into it until I was able to, you know, work my job, have free time to do whatever I need to be doing. So with that being said, I was like, you know what? I should start a clothing brand. And pretty much how I started was just conversation at work, y'all. Kid you not. Like, I was just talking to people at work and stuff like that. Well, really, to be honest, I, like, I was already looking for a way to start my clothing brand, to be honest, right? So, once I started talking to people at work and they was telling me what they was doing, I was like, okay, that sounds good. What type of products do you have or what do you use? Basically, just asking them what materials do you have to create your product and stuff like that and how you looking to do yours. So, with that being said, it was one conversation with somebody that he basically told me about a Virgil Abloh's website, you know what I'm saying? Off-White, the creator of Off-White, he, you know, recently just passed away, you know, rest in peace to him. But he told me about his website and his website is basically a free game. The name of it is free game. And it's a website basically where it teaches you step-by-step -step on how to start your clothing brand. And we talking about the creator of Off-White, bro. Like, come on now. Like that was just enough proof for me to even just follow it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, so with that, so with that like once i he told me about the website and everything like that then i went on the website for a good amount of time just looking at it you know diving into it a little bit here and there it was sometimes where it's like i knew i needed to do it but i would like kind of like shy away but you know i finally like started putting my my head into it and started paying attention to like what he was like, what he was sharing basically just following the format that he had on there and just doing the things that were necessary. So, you know, step one, step two. I actually made a video about this, right? And then after that, I ran into another creator and I bought his course, right? So once I bought his course, I was able to get more information about clothing brands in a less period of time from someone that is successful. And this is why I always tell people like, yeah, always invest into yourself, bro. Like it don't matter how much it is, and what the price is of course there's always another option but if you feel as though that this is the best route to take trust yourself and do it you know what i'm saying so i bought the course it was about 300 dollars, and then you know from that course i was able to start scaling my business even more you know a different percent um different perspective you know change the way i was thinking and stuff like that and then from there my business started getting more abundant and then that's when i finally moved into instagram right because my clothing brand really blew up or really started getting a lot of its sales from amazon right because i work at a warehouse where a lot of people and the way i am to be honest like i'm a very 
I, I know how to talk to people. You feel me? Like I have a lot of great relationships up there with people. You know, I always talk to my even before I even had my clothing brand, even before I had anything going on for myself, I always had them relationship with people. Like that's just how I am. So once I started my clothing brand, the support was there because the love was there before the even the clothing brand was there. If that makes sense, right? And you know, now I also have people that I never spoke to before, like coming up to me, talking to me about my clothing brand. And I also want to support too. So it's like. You know, everybody in there got their own business, so we all be helping each other out, you feel me? So that's just how, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is how my clothing brand really just started going up. And then after that, I bought somebody else's course for $75. And it's always, it's never, like, you can never know enough. Like, always be open to learn something new or get a different perspective from somebody else. And it was $75, so it was like, and then the person, like, bro, she be going crazy. Like, she be going crazy. Also, if y'all do want to know who these people are, just DM me. You know what I'm saying? And I will send them your your IG. Big shout out to those two people, man. Always be open to learning something else from someone else. Like, even if they don't know, they're not too knowledgeable, but just knowing how somebody else thinks is some more information that you have for yourself. The reason why I started my clothing brand was not so just to make money, but more so to build a brand for myself. Because like, so my last YouTube channel, right, Al Wavy, I will always go on there and do some type of reactions and stuff like that. And I will have a blank hoodie on. Like, I wouldn't, it wouldn't, like, it would just be somebody else's stuff, right? So somebody had hit me up. And mind you, I've been thought about before he actually, like, texted me this. But, you know, like I said, just listening to other people, I was like, you know what? Let me put this into work. Like, fam, I started a clothing brand. And this is crazy, right? Because I people don't even know this. I started two clothing brands before this one before dhs right i'm telling y'all that's why you always gotta watch the last man because i swear stuff would just be popping up and i'm gonna probably drop a picture yeah i'm gonna drop a picture of it was this piece that i made first this was the first ever clothing brand and this was about i want to say three years ago i'm 19 16 damn when did i tell my dad i want to start my clothing brand Y'all, my memory be shot, but and then this one is one I made recently. I think like two years ago. I ain't gonna lie, this was kind of recently. This this was kind of recent, but this one right here, fam. Like I thought that was gonna be the move. I actually promoted it on my uh, on my spam page for my Instagram and everything. People liked it, and I was gonna actually do it. But I was like, you know what? Let me just put something out there that people are actually gonna be able to stand by. Like yeah, Al Wavy is cool. You know, I love myself, I love the name, but people, you know what I'm saying? Like putting a name, putting your own name on something doesn't really like have, like, yeah, you're a person, you know, great, whoop de whoop. Especially where I am right now, I'm very humble within myself. I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I'm just the biggest thing ever. So that wouldn't, I wouldn't really, you know what I'm saying? Like some people be like, hey, you should sell that on the side. Even with your clothing brand now, you should sell it. But it's like digital hustlers, a lot of people can say that. Like a lot of people are digital hustlers and they don't even know, you know what I'm saying? So that's a big, that's also a big thing. Like make sure your name is like, people can connect to your name. Like there's an emotional, financial, spiritual, or physical way that they connect they can connect to the name like if you actually want to have meaning behind it of course but yeah man that's pretty much why i started my clothing brand i seen that you know everybody in the world is gonna wear clothes i seen you know that at the time i had time for myself to actually put it into works i talked to the people i network you know at my job and stuff like that or even out my outside my job i network and talk to people and it's it's so much more to the story to be honest but it's like I don't really like, and it's crazy because I just know that later on in life when I need to think about stuff and, you know, remember and like, bro, my memory, <laughs> my memory be out of there, y'all. But look, man, that's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoy it and, you know, you start your clothing brand too if you if you're looking to do so or if you're just looking at this video and you know what i'm saying you got something else going on for yourself start what you really want to start bro like real talk it don't matter any of that just make a plan for yourself make a schedule do a step-by-step -step process right have the bigger goal and break that down into three different like action steps that you can take and knock that out the ballpark man like hey do it you know what i'm saying but yeah man i appreciate y'all i wish 
I'm recording on my phone right now, so I can't even see how many subscribers we got. But we're close to 4K. <laughs> like, fam, I just hit, I hit 3K around, I hit 3K, I think, three days before the new year, right? And I said I was going to hit 2K before the year, but then I pushed it to 3K after because y'all went to go smash it like nothing. But now we finna hit 4K in like 11, 10 days, bro. Like 3K, like a thousand subscribers in 11 days. Man. Hey, bro, I appreciate y'all for watching. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Y'all stay safe out here in my traders. Y'all keep attacking these markets, man. Digital Hustler is out. Wow.